Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is Jesse Ajetiana. Uh, I'm here again for Management Information System Lecture 2. And before we continue, I just want us to enjoy the music a little. And I say the goodness of the Lord and the grace of the Lord that has brought us this far. You know, it is just by the grace and mercies of God that we are still counted among the living. Right, so I would like us to continue. This is chapter 2 of Management Information System. The instructor once again is Jay Annan. And then today we want to talk about the concept of data and information. With the first lecture that we talked about, we spoke of the information system. We talked about the framework of information system. We also talked about the various aspects of information system that we have, where we give a detailed explanation of the components of our information system, where we talked about the people, the data, the hardware, the software, and then the organizational procedures that also comes into play. We also gave a detailed understanding of the various aspects and the components of information system. And then we came to the definition of what information system is, where we said that diagrammatically it has the input, the process, and then the output, and it has the the storage, where data can from the storage can go back into the into into them, into the processing system again, so that they can be manipulated to give another output. This, today, I want us to talk about the concept of data and information because for every information system that we have, it has been powered and manipulated by data. And we and, 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 and what is data over here? The little information I've written here says that data consists of facts and figures that are relatively meaningless to the user. Data is subject to a value-added process where it is formed where its form is aggregated, manipulated, and organized. Its content is analyzed and evaluated. It is then placed in proper context for human use. So it means that if I have data and I have not organized the data well, the data might not serve any important purpose for me just because the data is just fast and figures. But provided I arrange the data, provided I manipulate the data, then it becomes something useful for me. If I say 5, 2000, 36, what does that mean? They are just figures that I'm calling. But if I tell you that, I mean, uh, I've been teaching for five years, it would be reasonable because the five is attached to my teaching experience. If I tell you that maybe I started in 2000, then it means that it is also meaningful because that was the starting point of my teaching career. So these are the various things that we can talk about when it comes to the aspect of data. And then we say that information is processed data or meaningful data. So the facts and figures that we have, once we process it, it becomes meaningful to the user. And once it is meaningful to the user, we say it is information. Manipulating the hours worked by hourly rate to get each employee's gross ending is a meaningful data to the specific user in the organization. So this is talking about specific data. So it is expected of us that we know the difference between data and information. Know that is uh, the differences that comes to that, you know. In in, in 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 maybe during interview or during examination definitely they might ask you what are the differences or state three or four differences between data and information and you can know that uh, once the data is processed it becomes meaningful and once it becomes meaningful it means that it it it, it, it could be used for specific purpose or it could be used for something that is so of importance in an organization so now we looked at the attributes of quality information, meaning that over here, the first item I list that here says that, I mean, it must be concise. Only the information that is needed should be provided. So it means that you go straight to the point 
target the information that is needed and the ones that are not needed you discard them so that is the part that explains the conciseness of what of data and it says that it must have a scope information can have can have broader and narrow scope or an internal or external focus so it means that on which on which on which on which pedestal are we looking at this information meaning that it should define a specific purpose or a specific objective that we need and then we also looked at performance it says that information can be reviewed and reveal performance by measuring activities accomplished progress made or resources accumulated so the performance so information on um, information or quality information can also talk about the performance that it has given it should be and then the next thing is clarity information should be provided in a form that is easy to understand meaning that it should be clear to the to the viewer or to the listener or to the one that is receiving it it should be detailed information can be detailed or a summarized form and then it should come in a specific order it means that information can be arranged in a predefined sequence and then presentation the way the data is presented is also of great importance and then we also have media information can be provided in the form of printed paper documents video display or other medium so a summary of the attributes of information quality it says that this outlines the attributes that should be present in high quality information product so in terms of time we have what it should be it should be timeliness and then we also have the the currency the, the frequency and then the time period you know and then the next thing the form it should be clear um, it should it should express clarity it should be detailed order and then presentation and media and then the comment it should be accurate it should be relevant it should the completeness and then the conciseness the scope and then the performance so these are the various things that explains the quality of information or the quality of data that has been processed which is now information so that explains that and once again that this um, video that i'm doing has been it's been powered by Pro Technology Africa. And to my students, I encourage you that you like our video. And then you can also send me a mail through my, my mail that is there. And then I also have a contact number. Pick the contact number, send me any necessary information pertaining to MIS, and I'll be glad to receive it. And also, you can even share comments about the video. Maybe some things you didn't get well, you know, you can talk about it so that. I mean, it will help the lecturer to perform well. So the next thing we will look at is the concept of data and information. Or oh, we've already explained that. And then I have some few questions that I have here. We say is that with a diagram, explain the concept of information system. Explain the concept of information system. Having defined what information system is, and then I give you the diagrammatic representation of information system, where I said that we have the input, we have the process, and we have the output, and then we also have the story. So it means that you should explain what information system is grammatically. I mean, uh, using diagram to express that, and then list the components of information system. This explains the first lecture that we have, and then list five things that information system system can be used to achieve in an organization I mean so I mean you can you can write something and then you can discuss it with me send it to me through mail and then I'll respond to you why is information system required in an organization why the necessity for information system within an organization I did um, tell my students in the first lecture that uh, there is no business or there is no organization that is not driven by technology. I don't know of one, I don't know of you, whether the business is legal or illegal, is being powered by technology. Now let's move on to the types of information system. We have information system, we have the operation support system, and then we also have the management support system. Under the operation support system, we have transaction process, we have knowledge base, and we also have office application. Under the management information system or management support system, we have management information system, executive support system, and then decision 
uh, support systems. So this explains the various types. I mean, there are other types of information system, but we are centering our, 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 our studies to these few ones that we have. Maybe preferably, maybe we could dive into other areas of that when we move deeper into our studies. So we can go on with this and then when the need arises we can move on so under the operation support system we have the transaction support system that focuses on records and um, biz, um, process business transactions for example we have the sales process and we have the infantry system and then we have the accounting system so it means that this software or this system have the ability to collect data based on the various transactions that occurs within the organization and then we also have the process control system. I mean, monitor and control physical processes. It means that even the systems that we have, we can also have another system that can monitor it, whether all parts or whether all components are functioning properly before maybe work commences. That is why within the banking sector, before bank starts, they have to make sure that all their devices, all their servers, their computers, I mean, even the human capacity, which is the people that is going to serve the customers are in their right and prepared state before they open up forward for the public to come in to be served. You know, so these are the things. So we also have the, the process control system that monitors that everything is what is accurate. Example, we have using sensors to monitor the chemical processes in the petroleum refinery. And then we also have the enterprise collaboration system, enhanced teams and work group communication. For example, emails, video conferencing. Now, it's not just now. It is not just emails and video conferencing. But now we are talking of WhatsApp. We are talking of social media playing a significant role in the day-to-day -day activities or in the day-to-day -day transactions of organizations or the operations that happens within an organization how the employees can communicate together now the current technology they are talking about is working from home how effective is that being done in the midst of the COVID, in the midst of the pandemic i mean what um, uh, uh, we are looking at the influence of technology in these various areas and it's going well it's going well because now social media is playing a significant role now we can have video conferencing and we can have uh, um data that, or information within the organization that can be shared across users on a single platform and this goes a long way to help the workers within an organization and then we also have the types of uh, management support system and then over there we have management information system that talks about reports and displays example the daily sales analysis report and then we also have the decision support system interactive and hard hoc support example what if analysis to determine where to spend advertising dollars and then we also have the executive information system it says the critical information for executives and managers example easy access to actions of what competitors once we get actions of competitors then we can take advantage so that we become what we become better or we offer better services than them and maybe this may come in with the portals five which we'll talk about later but executive information system is always data or information that would help organizations to outsmart or to perform better than their competitors right so that explains that and then the next thing, um, so that explains everything we have for 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 this lecture, and I hope it's it's, it's quite very short. But uh, I, I I encourage you to do the assignment that is there and then send it to me, especially for my students. Try and then get the assignments done. Once you do the assignment that we have spoken about. I mean, it can help you to, to get a better understanding of the course. To those who might not make it for lecture, I encourage you to listen to this video and make sure that you contribute well to what happened, I mean, in your absence. This will go a long way to help you. This will go a long way to help you to get better understanding of the course information management system this will help you to know what happens when it people are talking about the various terms and all that you can also 
add in your contribution because you know what happens and what goes on when it comes to information technology or when it comes to technological product and the various aspects of technology so i encourage us all just get involved and i'm about to also get the uh, the next chapter done so once we are through with the next chapter then we can move on so i have decided to make this this uh lecture notes very simple and very short so that students can adhere to it i mean the first lecture that i did i mean student complained that it was too long they couldn't download and all that but now i just want to make it short so that students can just get involved in that so i i i wish you all the best send me a message or something so thanks very much for watching this video share and then uh, like this video uh for more questions for interview you can visit our website and then you can also support what i mean what the lecturer is doing if you can send mobile money or whatever then you need to send i mean so that it will boost me it will help pro technology africa so that i can boost most of my uh, videos and other things online so that everybody can contribute towards that i mean you can send you 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 can send something you can send something yes and it will go a long way to help. So thanks very much. And God bless us all. God sustain us small. God keep us small. In all that we do, in all our endeavors. And I pray that everything will be active with us. Yes. So let me continue with the video a little before I sign up. Yeah. Right. So thanks very much. And God bless you.